here in Sharjah at the Exposure Festival, I have my show, my exhibition on 44 days, which was the number of days I spent in Iran during the revolution, some hard to believe, it's 40 years ago. And uh, these pictures go from uh, late December into February and the change of regime and the end of the Shah's regime and the arrival of Ayatollah Khomeini and the taking over of power in um, 1979. As a photojournalist, what I've really been concentrating on is trying to tell stories in the media, which would be occasionally for newspapers, but in my case it's mainly been magazines. Uh, I worked a lot for Time and for Life magazine and uh, other Time Life publications and Perry Match and Stern and Geo and all the big picture magazines in Europe and the US. And so much of that was about trying, and we always tried to do it in the, a few good pictures as, as possible to tell the story, in this case, of the Iranian Revolution, but I covered a million other things in my, in my years. At the same time, in my older years, shall we say, I've become much more cognizant of the things that I pushed aside along the way. I, uh, I didn't take, for example, in college, when I should have been aware not only of the uh, sports pictures, I wanted to be a sports photographer, uh, 